Hello everyone, my name is Jaleese, this is the JJ Movie TV Soul Shots Game Reviews. And right now I'm doing my first ever TV show review of each episode. And it's this show called The Originals. Now, The Originals, if you know it and if you're a fan, they are a spin-off series of The Vampire Diaries. The Vampire Diaries, first two seasons were about the dirt characters. Then The Originals, which are a group of family members, the original vampires, Klaus the Hybrid, half werewolf, half vampire, and his half-siblings, Rebecca Michelson, his little sister, and his older brother, Elijah Michelson. There are other family members, but we'll get to the point of them. Now, if you know the show, then you know what it was. This is Season 1, Episode 1, uh, review of uh, Always and Forever. And this episode was h half of it we seen. Because Vamp Diaries, at the end of Season 4, to start off the spinoff, they had, like, an episode for the originals. That was called the originals in for Episode uh, 20... Uh, season four, and so half of this episode was really basically of the originals in this one. This episode was basically half episode of what was season four, episode twenty, which was originals. Which basically Klaus comes back to New Orleans, his former home, and Klaus is a thousand year old hybrid. And he goes to the associate that he used to love, and he finds out that his protege, the person that who was his apprentice, Marcel, former slave. That he brought up and made into a vampire. Now runs the city. Controls the witches. Which is something Klaus was never able to do. The werewolves are freaking gone. Uh, he banished them. So Klaus was wondering why they like that. Also. Klaus had a one night stand. In a short while in the Vampire Diaries. With a werewolf girl. Haley who was pregnant. The witches who were in New Orleans. Wanted to change the balance of power. Against Marcel in this sense. And basically take over. And in this episode was good. It was very, very good. It could have been better if they didn't do a flashback for, like, it if it didn't have so much of the season 4, episode 20 uh, slots. But this is more about Elijah's perspective. About the entire... About who the original are. He, it really is just his perspective of the people when he meets Marcel, how he negotiates with them, the witches, and how, how Haley and a baby mean something to him. You also get to see sort of their little mansion where they're also going to hang out. At Sorry for spoiler alert, also by the way in this video, but what me also was the flashbacks of basically the beginning was awesome. There's a little pirate ship of when they first land on New Orleans and then bam, well, they're sailors and they killed a whole bunch of like, uh, there's like four group of people that went into this old place and we get to see Cole's resurrected body. I mean, uh, body in a coffin. Klaus, Rebecca, and Elijah killed the settlers except for one to carry Cole's and Finn's coffins around because you all know that story with them. And basically in this entire episode was basically a flashback about Elijah's perspective and how he loves his brother. And how in his perspective how he failed his brother because he let Michael beat a, Michael, Klaus's stepfather and Elijah's father, beat him up. And he should have took charge and really saved Klaus. And he will always be there for him, always and forever. Klaus picks on, uh, they have a little fight between them. Uh, they have a toe. And basically, at the end of this episode, when we took everything's cleared out, Klaus says to him, basically, the only way I could lose this is my weakness. Basically, and that says, weakness is family. And then he uh, stuffs the dagger until Elijah's heart and says, forgive me. But he says like this, you are weak and you're trying on family. Now... That's season one, episode one of Always Not Forever, and season two, I mean, not season two, episode two from the preview, we get to see a little bit where Rebecca's arrived in this one. So you see a little more of Klaus and Rebecca teaming up, which is surprising since they're on, on at ends. But in this one, we see a little bit of Cla uh, Marcel and Rebecca, and apparently they have a little love fest going around, and all of a sudden you see one moment where Klaus has a sword to Marcel and says basically, did I not tell you? In other words, it could have been a warning to Marcel that don't touch his sister. In that sense, we could see more flashbacks. Elijah's in his coffin, and Rebecca's like, how many times will uh, Elijah forgive you? For Klaus daggering him. So, who knows where this is going to go. But right now, it's such a great episode right now. I hope you all love this one. It's my first review for all the reviews on the originals. But I'm going to keep doing it every single one. Hopefully, I'll get more reviews. Hopefully not. If you want, you can subscribe to me for the originals. You can subscribe to me for all my other videos. Uh, Superhero, Star Wars, Harry Potter, all that nerdy stuff. Like that stuff. Also, I have uh, reviews of the Vampire Diaries, sci-fi, uh, 
uh, shows, uh, fantasy shows, anything you want, you can subscribe to. But overall, a great, great uh, episode this was. I think it was a really great start. Can't wait. The beginning hooked me up. The middle kind of dragged along with the flashbacks, but the end was tremendous. Let me guess him what's going to come more, and that's what I want in each episode. I want to guess, like, oh my god, what's going to happen now? What's going to happen now? Also, the new characters are Sophie and a couple witches. You can see there's a little distance with the coven in that sense, but still. And also, we get to see a growth of new characters, probably. Marcel and his gang. And a witch that apparently is very protective of Marcel. Who knows where this is going to go. But let me know what y'all think, everyone. This is JJ Movie Team, so slash game reviews. Let me know what y'all think, everyone. Bye-bye.